David Lyas, this is RSL Today, and we are back in the new year. Happy New Year, Keith. And to you, David. Thanks, Here mate. we go, 2024. Oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's time. Yeah. It's gone, yeah. I feel like a time lord. I've been watching Doctor Who. <laughs> I think it's great. I love it. Next next one I watch will be the first one. Oh, no, it's fantastic. Um, we have our guests come back in the studio. They've given up their, their Christmas New Year break to come in and talk to us, which is, we're extremely grateful. Gentlemen, thank you very, very much for coming back. Commander Tony Ryder and Lieutenant Commander Gary Burns, welcome back into the studio. Thank you, and uh, yeah, ha- Happy New Year to you all um, from HMAS Encounter. Thanks, David and Keith, for inviting us back. Lovely and, to have you. And thank you again, yeah, and Happy New Year to all the listeners. Good to see you. We've just got a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, yes. No, uh, po- no point phoning... A state branch because it's not. No, it's, it's, not, it's open. not open. But uh, RSL South Australia would normally be uh, uh, attended to in the office at uh, the Torrance Parade Ground building, corner of King William Road and uh, Victoria Drive in Adelaide. Our phone number is eight one zero zero seven three zero zero. Email admin at rslsa.org.au, website rslsa.org.au, and the Facebook and the Instagram will still be going. I'm still working on that. I just can't help myself. It's- Apart from that, it's like you haven't been away from work. Yeah, look, maybe just to reinforce that if people are uh, uh, need help, there is, of course, the emergency number, triple zero. But aside from that, there's the there's 24-7 help and counselling and referrals from through open arms, one eight hundred zero one one zero four six. And if you look at our website, right up along the top, uh, there's a small ribbon uh, which says 24-7 assistance, uh, and that then links uh, through the Veteran Services uh, menu uh, to places in South Australia, Northern Territory and Broken Hill where you may uh, wish to seek help. Um, it, it's it's an interesting time of the year, and, and I'm sure it affects um, people who are already affected, um, perhaps compounds uh, things as well, but uh, don't do it alone. Ring a mate. And, uh, and if you're doing fine, you ring your mate. And uh, if you're right. not doing fine, uh, ring another mate. Yep. For sure. Uh, David, I reckon uh, that's it. Have I got uh, anything else that... Uh there's no, there's no mess luncheon because we're closed. Of course. Don't come back till the 14th yeah. of uh, February, so Valentine's wow. Day. Yeah. So, well, RSL South Australia reopens on Monday the 15th of January. Yep. The Plymouth Glenelg RSL reopened... Just a few days ago, yeah. uh, it was closed from uh, from around Christmas. So John Monash Centre, it's winter over in the, uh, on the Western Front, but uh, uh, it's up and running again. Uh, there we go. Uh, the um, Australian War Memorial have a last post ceremony, which has been brought forward in time. It used to be later in the evening. It's now 4.30 uh, in the afternoon. You are required to book for it. It's free bookings, but... Uh, uh, please, if you're going to Canberra and you're going to visit the War Memorial, uh, I believe you have to book in for that as well and book in for the mm. uh, last post ceremony, which is hosted or um, uh, expenses are covered by uh, RSL Australia. There you go. So now, should we go back to our guests? My word, yeah, it was. Uh, we're only kicking off uh, yeah. last week. Let's let's get Gentlemen, into it. The floor's yours. Yeah. So, what, Tony? What would you like to talk about it, um, now? This today look there's a few events coming up uh, in a few weeks which i'll hand over to gary to do but uh, from my point of view i'd just like to highlight the fact you know for the regional reserves uh, in south australia you know hms encounter is doing a trial or a pilot uh, how we look at engaging with our former reserves and active reserves uh, and our contact details are on our website um <clears throat> What, what we're hoping to do is look how we employ reservists uh, into a thing called a total workforce solution or strength. Uh, and what we want to do there is really engage with our former veterans, uh, entice them back into active service if they want to. But if not, just to be part of the Navy family, because I'll only endorse, as you said, Keith, the mental health of our yeah. veterans is extremely important uh, and always, as you said, they've got open arms got to, to be, reach out yeah. to. Got to be part of a team. And that's when you leave the military, you've, you've left that team, find another one. 
Yeah, you have to c- come back in a different capacity, and this is what you're talking about. Uh, so, uh, well yeah, done. Yeah, I think it's very important to be part of the Navy family. Uh, having served, coming up to 33 years, I've always felt at home, but I am aware that's not always the case for everyone, and life has many changes. Uh, so we would like to invite them to a couple of things that we've got set up, and I'll let Gary uh, introduce those if you don't mind. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. yeah, right. Thanks for that, um, sir. Uh, look, yeah, one of the main things I want to advertise is the fact that we've got Navy Week occurring again, obviously, this this year, uh, starting on the 24th of Feb through to the 1st of March, which is Navy's birthday itself, so it'll all end on that day. Um, and we had a lot of great support from RSL last year, but we'll try and get our um, program out as soon as we can so that you can actually advertise that uh, on your show and, and on your Facebook page, if we can, once we've got the program. We'll certainly do that. Yeah, we've Definitely. got a good following. Uh, you'll go through some of the events yeah. that, you, that are definite. A- any that are speculative at this stage? Oh, or? look, everything's up in the air. But no, most, <laughs> it, most of it's kind of locked in at the moment. The, the first event's going to be an open day out at the Naval Construction Branch again out there so people can go and see uh, how shipbuilding occurs. Um, look, that's probably the only one that's a bit speculative at the moment because it's going to be the Saturday, the 24th of Feb or the 25th of Feb. We've just got to work it out with the um, contractors yeah. out at NCB and lock in that date. But definitely we will be doing something on that weekend, which is a great opportunity to go out and see uh, how we actually build the ships and what our people do in the shipyards as well. Um in addition to that, on the Wednesday, the 28th of Feb, we're going to do a careers expo in at Adelaide Convention Centre, which is going to be focused uh, with DFR and our community engagement group, focused on um, young people, trying to get them into careers in the Defence Force. Um, uh, we, we may include um, industry in that as well, like we did last time, so that they can actually look at what shipbuilding opportunities are available in Adelaide as well. Yeah, I was going to say it'd be a perfect opportunity if someone's interested in getting a trade. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily going into the Navy to do it. Yeah, yeah there, there's definitely the two options. Like, yeah. obviously, we focus and prefer people to come of and course. join us in the Navy or, or any of, of the course. defence forces, but yeah. there are the, a lot of people who actually think industry is the way to go and support defence mm. as well. So, yeah, it's definitely a joint venture what we do uh, in the shipyard. So, yep, yeah, we will be advertising both. And then, again, on the... Um, like we did last year on the 29th of Feb, we're going to do the Torrance Walk, which I know a few of the RSL patrons came along to, um, and barbecue to follow that morning in Torrance Parade Ground. Uh, and then on the 1st of March, which is Navy's birthday, like I said, we're going to do the ceremonial sunset down at Glenelg, which was a great turnout. Wasn't it? We reckon we got yeah. about a 1,000 people there last year. So we want to outdo that this year by a couple of hundred or even make it. Possibly to 2,000 if you, your support goes out there. So we will give we will as much be, notice as we can. But yeah, We will be advertising that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so that was great. And now the other thing is we'll have the band playing through Rundle Mall throughout the whole week yeah. um, at different occasions. So they'll be there a couple of times. But, uh, yeah, just advertising that we're here. Any yeah, ships yeah. coming in? Unfortunately, at the moment, we don't. We no. haven't secured a ship. Uh, but if that changes, we will let you know. So that's why we weren't advertising a ship. No, no, I understand. You know, the band is one of the most uh, interesting things I find. They're, they are a great band, but and I've seen them play at various uh, points around the city during Navy Week. Um, North Terrace, I reckon they've done Victoria Square. and uh, they might, They've might certainly have... done them all. Okay, the mall, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been involved with, with Ceremony of Sunset yeah. in the mall with the band. Tony, have you seen the band? How- yeah, um, I, we met them actually on Tuesday. I had a chat about um, what they've done after Christmas uh, and what the way ahead is. Uh, again, they're all reservists. Yep. They're, they're active yep. in the community and they are all got busy jobs. Their commitment adds to our capability and just gets that Navy family feel back because, mm. like you said, Dave, it's nice to... Uh, they're very, very good, very professional, uh, and it's great to see them around. Yeah. Great range of music, and they also played uh, half time at the Anzac Round match at uh, uh, at uh, Adelaide Oval. And Rory, Rory McKinnon, he uh, he rocked the place. He's a great vocalist. He's just got so much energy. Apart from being a very versatile musician in all the uh, instruments he played, he had the audience just rocking in their seats. It was. You were there, yeah. Gary? It's always good to see you. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, at that. Yeah. Yeah. And That's it was up noise. on the big screen, so those who couldn't see the band directly could see it on the big screen. And uh, yeah, they, he's a, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, they also, um, the 
days on the green at the government house when they oh, do yes, yeah. those. The, the band's quite often playing there as yeah. well. So the, they're, they're very they're quite often at community events, yeah. which is great. They used to do the Vietnam concert. As well, in at the parade ground on the big forty-foot uh, stage, uh, yes. stage, and yeah. uh, and we're not just talking brass band type uh, no, military they, music. They, the they, rock they rock, yeah, they had the rock yeah. band there and everything. No, they were very, very good. And I reckon it's it's a few months now, but uh, Rory and the band were up in Alice Springs for the for yeah, the, they're for up the, there. Uh, the Todd, um, Todd the, the, the regatta, yeah, um, Henley on Todd, Henley on Todd. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, they, they, so they do travel far and wide yeah. uh, to support and, and showcase what the Navy uh, band's capable of and, and advertise us. So normally we send our community engagement team with them as well um, just to uh, allow everyone to get an understanding of what Navy's about. Yeah, yeah no, it's excellent. I love it. What about Navy as a career then? Um, how do people consider it? What are they, what's their next step? Where do they go? Yeah, well, with um, a lot of what we do, obviously, if someone's interested, we direct them straight to... Uh, Defence Force Recruiting, uh, they're the, the people that actually work you through and they'll be involved in that careers day on the 28th as well. So that's the first point of contact for anyone that's got uh, family or friends that are interested in joining. Uh, contact uh, Defence Force Recruiting and they will get them started, yeah. Okay, so You know, Navy has the biggest toys, doesn't it? <laughs> you do well. Th- those of us who love engineering and machinery and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, th- the roles that we are, um, and the ability to transfer categories, uh, just gives you a massive opportunity. It's like changing your job every two to three yeah. years, uh, and it keeps people excited and wanting to serve. That's oh, excellent. Just, uh, just completely aside, have you noticed the photographs that I post to uh, uh, RSL Facebook from a- the commander of HMA Cerberus? Yes. The CO there has, yeah. has obviously got a very good photographic eye for uh, both the base and and the wildlife and the and the weather and things like that. And every week or two, he'll pop up a collage of photos that he's taken, and I yeah, think it's that's great. That's Captain Mothorpe, uh, and he's a very good photographer. It's his hobby, uh, and he does do a, quite a lot of photography in that location. Yeah. yeah, he got plenty of material the other day with the storms. <laughs> but but he's into the wildlife, the birds, and, and and things like that. I I really enjoy seeing his posts yeah. and sharing them. Now we're almost out of time. This and this, this happens every single time we come into the studio. First of all, I'd love to, I'd love to thank you for giving up your time today and last week. Um, welcome to South Australia. I think you'll have a lovely time. It is a beautiful place, uh, especially if you like red wine. Um, you um, you will be made to feel welcome if you haven't already, um, and just relax and enjoy it. I think it's only two years. Thanks very much, Dave. Yeah, it's only two years, and I hope to get around uh, this beautiful state. I really do. Uh, between myself uh, and the XL Gary, um, we just want to make sure. Just a shout out there to all our veterans, uh, and just reiterate the point that we're here to support not just Navy, but Defence, uh, and come and ask us if you're unsure about a career, yeah. uh, uh, but we'll point you in the right direction. Uh, it's a major opportunity, not for just young people, for people who need a change as well. Yeah. Uh, will you be giving us um, material that we can put on the social media as far as your reserve program goes? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can send that through to you. We'll yeah. um, put something together. Fantastic. We'll, we'll put it. Uh, same with uh, once we got the program for Navy Week, we will um, send that through to you so you can put that up as well. Yeah, great to hear. I attended uh, uh, Emma McDonald Kerr's uh, final parade, took some photos. Uh, I was pleased with how they worked out, put them up on the Facebook that afternoon, and uh, I'm happy. We got a heck of a lot of hits. Uh, <laughs> David, this is when you say it's, uh, that, it's that it's time that again, time and again. it's time to go. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in, and uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Good afternoon, Keith. Good afternoon. Good afternoon.